I was so surprised that I could actually get a sound out of the instrument. And, and within five minutes, I was playing three blind mice and I felt really, really great. And I thought, wow, gosh, I can actually play a little tune from this beautiful instrument. That's Sibylla. She's one of our sax school members. And in fact, she's our sax school legend for March 2022. And that's the award that we give to our most outstanding student who's really been making fantastic progress. So what I want to do in today's video, if it's okay with you, is to share a bit of footage from an interview I did with Sibylla to find out a bit more about her backstory because it's fascinating. And I think she's a great example of what's possible if you've got a desire to learn saxophone, even if you're starting as an adult and you really get stuck in there's so much that you can achieve, and Sibylla is an example of that. So today we're gonna to be looking at her story, finding out about how she got started, and talk about some of the things that she's been doing in her playing to help her to make amazing progress. So stick around, there's loads to talk about today, and I think you're gonna really enjoy this session. <laughs> G'day, it's Nigel here from Sax School. Hey, thanks so much for joining me for another one of these videos. If you are new here, click the subscribe button because I'm putting these things out all the time and you'll find out about the new things that way. Uh, but whatever you're up to with your saxophone playing, I hope you're enjoying the content that we put on this channel. We're putting things out all the time. And of course, the YouTube channel is just a tiny part of what we do because at Sax School Online, we've got thousands of students from all around the world that use our huge library of lessons every single day to make amazing progress. We've got players who are beginners, right through to players who are advanced, who are making their own albums, even running their own YouTube channels. If you wanna find out more about that, you can grab a 14 day trial. That's available as I'm filming this. There's a link in the description down below. Okay, let's get stuck in with this interview with Sibylla. Now, I love this story because the way Sibylla started saxophone is really interesting, a little bit different to what I expected actually. It's a great story. And also the progress, as I mentioned in the opening, that she's made has really been fantastic. And she's managed to do a lot of the things that I know loads of our sax school members, and maybe even you, aspire to do. You know, playing with a community band, playing in a show even, uh, and also branching out now and expanding into learning some improvising. So she's doing some really interesting stuff with the playing. Uh, right, so let's get stuck in with the interview. I should just say too, I filmed this with her on Zoom in the middle of when all those massive storms were happening in the UK last week. So we were really struggling with internet connection and it was a bit of a dodgy connection. But anyway, don't worry about that. Focus on what we're talking about. That's the important message in here. All right, let's get stuck in. Sibylla, congratulations. It's so wonderful to have you as our sax school legend for March 2022. Really excited to see all the progress you've been making with your videos. So congratulations. Thanks, Nigel. Thank you very much for having me. And uh, I'm so honored being the legend of uh, the month. Uh, who would have thought? Who would have thought? Well, you, you're making great progress. And, and I've really enjoyed going back and watching through all the videos that you've shared in our community. But so you've been playing saxophone for four or five years, uh, Sibylla. Tell me a bit about how you got started with saxophone then. Where, where did your journey start with saxophone? Well, it's actually an interesting story. Um, I've I've got two teenage daughters and my eldest daughter, she is quite musical. Um, there was a few videos that we played together on, on sax school as well. Um, so she was one of those musical kids who played piano and then she played in a band at primary school and moved on to secondary school and played in a different band, saxophone. And um, her saxophone teacher or actually band leader at some stage said to her well look you're a good player however that saxophone that your mom and dad bought off ebay it's really not good enough for for this format so can you please please do me a favor and upgrade your saxophone so so we did we bought her a nice sax yamaha saxophone for her birthday and she started playing on that and the old saxophone was still chucked away in the corner so at some stage i just discovered that old saxophone which looked pretty groovy but was pretty crappy and I just <laughs> hang it around my neck and I just put my fingers in the right place only to see if I could make a sound out of it and I didn't actually have high expectations at all but I was so surprised that I could actually get a sound out of the instrument and and within five minutes I was playing three blind mice and I felt really really great and I thought wow gosh I can actually play a little tune from this beautiful instrument because I've always had big admiration for both the instrument and the saxophone player. I always thought it was awesome, but never thought that it was something up my alley. <laughs> a little bit and 
got really excited about it, but then realized that, well, this is obviously, if it's not good enough for you, it's not going to be good enough for me either. I probably need a proper instrument. So I decided I wanted to play tennis saxophone. But my daughter, I don't know whether you, whether you know um, the TV show, Absolutely Fabulous, where you've got the mother and daughter relationship where the mother is all wild and the daughter is very, very strict about how things need to be done. Well, that's a little bit me and my daughter. So she <laughs> said to me, mom, you can have a tennis sex, but you first need to prove yourself that you've got a little bit of ability. I give you my first saxophone book, play through it. If you can play it, we buy your saxophone for your birthday. <laughs> so that was the start of my okay. my awesome. saxophone awesome. career. And that's when I got my tennis sax for the my birthday. <laughs> lovely way to get started with saxophone and actually since talking to Sybil I've also discovered a few other sax school members who've also done that same thing where they started learning saxophone because their children were first learning saxophone. I think that's really lovely. It's a lovely way to share the joy of music with your family. So Sybil went on to develop her skills and discovered sax school and got started with uh, all the things that we're doing inside sax school. But along the way, she also had an opportunity to go and play in a community band for a production. And I wanted to ask Sybil a bit more about that. It was a, a musical actually, Strictly Ballroom. Took up the courage to uh, send an email to the musical director who I sort of knew personally and said, well, hey, I, I don't think I'm going to go for a, a part in the play, but can I play saxophone in your band? I don't think I would have passed any audition, but, but he just, he was kind enough. So, oh yeah, sure, you can play along. Yeah, it was great. I loved it. It was, it was very challenging and um, there's so much music to read and, and all the key changes and the, the different types of music and the tempos and uh, and everything that came to it. It was it was just sometimes I thought, well, this is just a bite bigger than I can chew, but I just persevered and stuck with it. And uh, So that's really interesting, Sybil. It's a huge learning curve with doing a show like that. So well done for doing it. And I noticed now inside SAC School, you've uh, joined our Accelerator program and you're working with Dean Hilson. Uh, and digging more into jazz improvisation. So how's that whole experience working out for you? Um, I really enjoy the Accelerator program and I really enjoy working with Dean. He's a, he's a great sport. Well, just in case you don't know what we're talking about here, Accelerator is our high-level coaching program inside SAC School. And we've got a bunch of students on this program who are working with our tutor team. So we've got a whole team of tutors in Accelerator and they're real specialists in different fields, whether it's blues or commercial saxophone or uh, advanced jazz, all sorts of different things. It's really nice the Accelerator program because we've got a range of students in there from beginner players right through to really advanced players and you, the students get to work on something that's really specific for them. So for, uh, for Sibylla, for example, she's digging into just beginner improvising skills and looking at blues and she's working with Dean Hilson who's our resident blues expert. He's an amazing blues player and ska player actually based in Australia. But other players are working with other tutors on things like advanced jazz uh, tactics and skills or maybe working on repertoire for performing with a live band like a, a band that they've joined and they're, they're working on the material so they can get ready to perform with them. Some other students in Accelerator are also working on recording projects uh, or even working toward an exam. So there's a whole bunch of different things in there. But let's hear a bit more about how Sibylla is enjoying the Accelerator program with Dean and what sort of things she's been working on. Um, I had some saxophone lessons in the past prior to, to joining sax school and, and certainly prior to joining the Accelerator program. Um, and I found that really hard because it was always a saxophone lesson after a full day of work and I just, I wasn't focused, I wasn't concentrated and I always felt that I was underperforming during my lesson just because I wasn't in the right frame of mind just after really working hard and being tired. So, so the format of just getting an instruction video that you can play at your own leisure and just play three or four times if you wish and, and just take all those little pearls in bit by bit 
and then practicing it and actually putting something together that you find is presentable and just sending it back and getting some feedback on that works a treat for me. Oh man, it's so great to hear that from Sibylla. That's exactly the reason why we created the Accelerator program, so people could learn at their own pace. So what about Dean? I want to ask Dean how he's getting on having Sibylla as a student and what his thoughts are on how she's progressing. Sibylla is absolutely caning it in the Accelerator program. She's learning heaps of tunes, uh, lots of new techniques, and her improvisational skills are coming along in leaps and bounds. Um, she's she's even bought a soprano for when she goes traveling and if that's not dedication i don't know what is uh, as her tutor i couldn't be happier so so yeah i'm, I'm really happy and, and yeah dean dean's like i said he's uh, He's very supportive and gives me great tips and, and great feedback. So, um, yeah, yeah, that's, that's going really well. Oh, that's really great to hear. Really great to hear. And I, I've been enjoying watching all your videos too. You, you, you're doing lots of videos. It's really great to see you doing all of the monthly challenges and getting involved in a, a bunch of collaborations too. So have, how have you found the experience of starting to make videos and then sharing them in the community? Has that, has that been helpful to you? Um, yeah, yeah. I mean, it is the way I present myself at the moment. I'm, I'm really not game enough to, to take my saxophone and go busking on the street by myself, you know. So uh, I, I like the, the, uh, the safe environment of sax school where I know I'll have a bunch of supportive sax, uh, saxophone players or learners who, who know how hard it is and, and who know how you can sometimes play your bung note and, and you know and 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 who are, are just you know can look through that and and just give you encouragement in, in what you're doing so yeah i quite yeah. enjoy just getting involved there and also looking at other people's uh, uh videos and then just seeing what other people are up to yeah, it's really encouraging isn't it and i love the way that your videos you're getting 30 40 50 comments on there so there's lots of engagement and and I love that. I love that the other people in the community uh, watching your videos, giving you feedback, as I'm sure you're doing with their videos, right? So that whole collaboration thing, I, I think is really, really cool. I love it. Can I, just a couple of questions, a couple more questions if I could, Sibyl. Um, I, I'm curious to know how you enjoyed the whole experience with SAC School. So you, you said you're really digging the community, which is awesome, and you're loving working with Dean on Accelerator. Have you found that you've been able to make use of all the other resources in SAC School too, like the lessons and the courses or getting feedback from the tutors? What's your favorite part of that? Um, I really enjoyed the master classes with uh, Joel, where he digs into the, the, the jazz, so the ones that he's been doing recently. And that's been just such an eye opener for me, just to really understand what jazz is about. Um, and the same with what Dean's been doing with the musical theory, I think. The first one is, is sort of the level I'm at, and I probably it's all all repetition, but it's good repetition to have. So so, and all the other master classes where you just get tricks of the trade. Um, sometimes I feel it's a little bit of information overload because there is so much, and and I'm, Dean and I have been go, talking about that. Like, yeah, have you seen that? Oh, and or, or I mentioned some particular um, workshop was something and then he looks at me like oh now there's so much on sex school I really can't grasp it all and I say yeah that's right yeah I probably have only seen about 10 to 15 percent of whatever is available because there's so much such a wealth of of different resources the other thing I enjoy is the um the spotlight sessions where where you guys uh, comment on on videos and i learn a lot from that awesome that's brilliant i i love to hear that actually with the spotlight sessions are you finding that you'll watch uh the spotlight sessions with other people even if you haven't sent in a video yourself oh yeah yes absolutely because i so far i i've been wanting to send videos in but i've just missed the deadline so i didn't find it whatever i had produced at the time was was presentable so so yes i do watch them and i do listen to the feedback for for other uh entrants and then i i get so much 
information out of that. about talking to you and seeing your journey is that you've jumped in with both feet and you've taken advantage of all the resources inside SAC School and it's helping you. I mean, you're making really, really great progress. So what would you say to somebody new that's just discovering SAC School now, maybe earlier on in their journey as well? How can they make the best use of all those resources to get the similar results that you've had? I, I think that out of the entire SAC School community, there's, there's a relative small proportion who posts videos. Um, and, and, and people who don't post videos must have reasons not to do so because they don't feel comfortable putting themselves out there. And um, that's fine. That's fine. Um, I, I think getting personal feedback is, is good, though. Um, and, and I think you, you guys, all the, all the, uh, the teachers, you, you guys are also lovely in your feedback. You really know how to sandwich it in by sort of saying something good, saying something that could be improved, and, and just giving some constructive feedback just to, to get you up to the next level. So, so I think um, just do, doing the basic um, be, beginners uh, uh, modules and and maybe just sending something into uh, to the spotlight session and just getting a little bit of feedback on uh, on on little tricks on on how you can make things a little bit smoother or mm. just just like timing with backing track and 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 all all those little things that trip you over when you're just a beginning beginner the counting and uh, and the embouchure and uh, and well, well, just, just there's, there's so much that, that you know that, that yeah. is going on when you start start playing. Yeah, awesome. I think that's great advice. You know, getting people, encouraging new new people joining Sax schools to actually get involved and send that video in. Because I remember, bet you imagine, I, I imagine you remember the first time that you sent in a video, and it's quite a big deal, right? To record a video and send it in, put it in the community. It, it's like you're saying, it is a step along that journey toward performing. And it's a it's a big uncomfortable step. But if you can get over that first hurdle, then your confidence builds and you get so much feedback and good things that come from it. So it's such an important step to do, I think. Well, hey, look, thanks so much, Sibylla. And keep doing what you're doing because I think you're doing great. We're very excited to be announcing you as our legend uh, this month and uh, we'll be watching what you're up to. Okay, thanks very much, Nigel. Thanks to you and the team for everything you're doing for the whole sax school community. And I'm, uh, yeah, I'm really looking to to put out better videos in in years to come. Hey, thanks for sticking around to the end of this video. I really hope you enjoyed Sibylla's story. I really enjoyed talking with her and I think what she's doing is amazing. And I hope it's inspired you because I think Sibylla's story is a great inspiration for what's possible on your saxophone if you really put some good effort in and you get some excellent support and help and guidance along the way too. If you want to find out more about what we're doing in Sax School, don't forget we've got that 14-day trial that's available right now. The link's down below, or you can grab it over at saxschoolonline.com, and we'd love to start helping you on your saxophone journey too. Whatever you're doing though, keep having fun, keep practicing hard, and make sure you explore the other resources on the channel here, and uh, I'll catch you next time. If you enjoyed this video, you might really like this video too. Go check this out next. And if you haven't subscribed yet, you can do that down here.